Hi, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple Polaroid pinhole camera. Um, you'll need a couple of things uh, to start with. So, you are going to need a pinhole, a film, a pack of film, a Polaroid film. I'm using Fujifilm Instax. Um, it is an 800 AZ film. Um, it's cheap, pretty well available. Um, you need a piece of glass, um, some brass tubing, and tape. Now, how do you place the Polaroid film on the pinhole? Very easy. Inside a dark room, or uh, better yet, a, a dark room bag, you place your uh, pinhole tape and of course the uh, the cartridge you just go like this inside and pull the film out one this is the last one so it's already been used um, you pick your pinhole surface I'm doing this on a the lid of the box is easier to uh, assemble and disassemble um, for photographs. And um, you get your tape, and this is what you do. You tape the Polaroid film to the 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 card, like so. Gently over the um, the chemical side, so none of it pours over the unexposed film. You just keep on putting some tape. I use it on three sides, the two uh, upper corners and one down, like so. Yeah. Okay. Now you just place this on the uh, on the camera. Close it. On a bright sunny day, um, uh, the exposure time is uh, pretty fast. So you just go like one, two, three, close. Um, that's it. Now, how do you go to develop the film? Um, it's also very easy. It's the easiest part. Um, well, not so much, but uh, nonetheless, you just open up inside the uh, darkroom bag. Just open up your whole camera. Remove carefully the film. Remove the pieces of tape from the film. It's pretty sticky sometimes. And um, now, what do you do? You place the film on the flat surface, hard flat surface. And with both hands, you are going to focus this a bit. You are going to do this. The following. You will hold the film with one. Place it like this. One hand, you hold the end of the film, while with the other, you just start squeezing over the film. See the moment where the brush tubing just jumps over the film. Now, you keep doing this with both hands uh, applying um, a pretty good amount of pressure and just you will hear mostly feel um, this area pop a bit and then you will roll it roll the tubing all over the film. You can just roll it over back and up again always starting from the edges of the film. Um, so you have a, uh, already yeah, okay. have already exposed um, your film to the chemistry, developing chemistry. So um, it's ready. You just take it out of the um, the back room bag, um, and within a few seconds, you have your photo uh, ready. Now, what kind of results can you expect from this kind of Polaroid? Um, well, pretty much the, the same results you get with uh, any other type of film or uh, 
a normal uh, regular Polaroid uh, film. Um, these are just some some pictures I took today. This is pretty blurry. This one is this this is. But this is my mom, and this is me. Um, both have been uh, pretty um, have suffered from um, overexposure. Uh, it's a sunny day. I didn't know how the film would react to uh, these light conditions, um, so I just practically spent a whole pack uh, experimenting. So, but once you get um, the uh, the times uh, with your um, pinhole camera, um, just just like um, shooting with uh, any other kind of film. Um, be it uh, paper, uh, photosensitized um, paper, or um, negative paper, um, 135 film, the regular 35 millimeter film, um, and uh, 120 film, uh, used in Hologos, Dianas, and uh, well, usually um, any kind of film you can use for pinholes. Um, so, don't be afraid of uh, experimenting with um, poor Roy film. Um, you may wish to uh, buy some out-of-date uh, film from your local uh, shop. Uh, or try eBay, as they have some pretty good deals on uh, film packs, uh, especially Fuji film, which is still made today, unlike Paul Roy films. And, um, they are pretty affordable um, and have a great chemistry, uh, better than uh, Polaroids. Um, give it a try, um, you'll get some, some nice results and um, let me know how, how, how it goes, okay? See ya!